This is the K55 Gaming Keyboard and Harpoon RGB Mouse Combo from Corsair coming in at 98 Aussie dollars or 70 US dollars. Can this expensive combo beat my personal favourite, the Devastator 3? Let's find out. First off, let's take a look at the Harpoon RGB Mouse. On the left hand side is a triangle pattern with a soft touch finish which does an okay job grip wise. Above that is two plastic side buttons which are positioned perfectly for me to press with ease and small enough to not get in the way. On the right hand side is more of the textured triangle surface. Out the front protrudes a 1.8m rubberized cable with a Corsair branded USB 2.0 connector at the end that has a mouse symbol on one side of it. The left and right main buttons are concave for your fingers and are satisfying to press with the perfect amount of resistance and use Omron switches rated at 20 million clicks. In between those is the rubberized scroll wheel with somewhat defined steps but has the perfect amount of actuation force required to click. Just behind that is the slightly too far back to press comfortably DPI switch which can help you change between up to 5 custom DPI levels. On the palm area is the Corsair logo which is the one and only customizable RGB zone on this mouse. Underneath is 4 thin PTFE feet that do a decent enough job of allowing the body to freely glide. In the middle is a Pixart 3320 optical sensor which is a fairly average sensor. Some extra features to note is that the DPI range is from 250 to 6000 in increments of 250. 5 fully programmable buttons as you cannot change the function of the left click and up to a 1000 Hz polling rate. The harpoon is made of plastic but is quite strong and the top is matte black but despite that it does a really good job of hiding skin oil residue. Size wise the mouse measures 112mm long, 66mm wide and 34mm high and weighing in at just 83 grams, which makes this mouse quite small and light. Onto the K55 keyboard now. At the top is a strip of glossy plastic that attracts a heap of dust and fingerprints. Down the left hand side there are 6 G keys which can be assigned to replace a key or to store any recorded macro by first pushing the macro record button then pressing the desired G key you wish to use. Then push the key or keys you would like to record and finally push the macro record key again to finish recording and save it. Included in the box is a soft touch wrist rest which isn't exactly great but it's nice to have. This is an extended 110 key keyboard with both the home buttons and numpad included. This keyboard also features 3 zone RGB lighting that can be controlled through the Corsair utility engine but more on that later. The K55 has a 2 meter rubberized cable that terminates into a Corsair USB 2.0 connector with a keyboard symbol on one side. The K55 switches are rubber domes with the keycaps having plungers but do feature a tactile bump to try and mimic mechanical switches. Here is a typing test so you can hear the switches in action. This is honestly one of the worst typing experiences I've had and these switches feel mushy and just plain horrible to use. Some extra features to list is a full set of media controls on the right hand side, 8 key rollover and a 1000 Hz polling rate. Build quality wise the keyboard is made from plastic and is a bit flimsy showing a lot of flex on the deck. Size wise this keyboard comes in at 230mm long, 480mm wide and 30mm high with the wrist rest attached and the feet extended. Weight wise this keyboard is 773 grams without the wrist rest. It's testing time in which I decided to change up my usual games and just play Fortnite as it requires both fast precise aim and quick responsive key presses to be a successful player. I felt the mouse did a decent job and I was able to hit some precise shots but the keyboard is a letdown when trying to handle multiple rapid key presses. Let's talk software which is Corsair Utility Engine. The first tab for the Harpoon is Actions which allows you to remap 5 out of the 6 buttons and also record macros. Next up is Lighting which can be turned on or off or change the effects to Rainbow. Color Shift. Color Pulse all with speed controls a static color or lighting link which believe it or not cannot actually be synced with the keyboard. GG Corsair. 
DPI tab is next, which you can set up to five DPI speeds, as well as a sniper sensitivity and the respective color the logo will display for a second when changing to that DPI. Last up is performance, where you can change pointer speed for some dumb reason, or turn off enhanced pointer precision, which I actually have no idea what it seems to affect. For the K55, under the Actions tab, you can also record macros. Under the Lighting Effects, you can choose Rainbow Wave, Color Shift, Color Pulse, or a Static Color, none of which can be synced with the mouse. The keyboard has three lighting zones, which you can customise different colours and effects, but is slightly more complicated than it needs to be with having to create a layer per zone, and you can't place effects above static colours, otherwise it'll just override it. The final tab is performance, where you can disable Alt Tab, Alt F4, Shift Tab, or Windows key. In conclusion, for $98 this isn't worth it, especially when you can get the Devastator 3 combo for half the price. Yes, the mouse is good on its own, but it doesn't justify getting this set, especially since the keyboard is so much worse than any other keyboard I have tested in these combo packs. My suggestion to Corsair would be to ditch all the fancy extras like media controls, a wrist rest and macro keys and design your own hybrid-like switch. At the end of the day, I cannot recommend buying this, as a better alternative would be to either buy the mouse separately or a cheaper mouse such as the Rival 100 or XM300 and find a better keyboard. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, please consider subscribing for more reviews and other content in the future. If you have a suggestion, question, or criticism, leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching.